welcome to ic gate institute we are going to discuss electrical machines this electrical machines is having an weightage of 7 to 9 marks in the gate point of view let us see the introduction part of electrical machines energy is available in many forms in the universe all the available forms of energy is converted into electrical is the common practice because it has the following advantages like it is easily generated transmitted utilized and controlled the controlling of electrical power is very easy reliable and efficient the electrical machine is an electro mechanical energy conversion device it is an electro mechanical energy conversion device which performs two operations either it may convert electrical energy to mechanical energy or it may convert mechanical energy to electrical energy if the device performs the first operation electrical energy to mechanical energy it is defined as a motor and if it converts the mechanical energy to electrical energy it is defined as the generator based upon the available nature of the electrical power supply the machines are classified broadly into three types they are of the first one DC machines which consists of the topics DC generators DC motors and the second classification induction machines which works on Faraday's laws which are of induction generators induction motors and with the same principle one more device it is of a transformer will be discussed in this second group of machine that is induction machines and the third group of machines it is of synchronous machines in which we discuss the synchronous generators simply called as alternators and synchronous motors DC machine in the stator it is of pole core and pole shoe here it shows the isometric view of the pole core with the pole shoe arrangement the purpose of the pole core is it holds the field winding the purpose of the field winding in a DC machine is to give the flux in the air gap so this portion is called as pole core and this extension portion is called as pole shoe over this pole core the field winding is placed provided with a DC supply the function of the pole core therefore is to handle the field winding it is a laminated one and the type of the material used to manufacture this pole core and pole shoe is CRGO silicon steel that is cold rolled 
grain oriented silicon steel the purpose of this cold rolled grain oriented silicon steel is it minimizes the hyster the hysteresis losses because of having low hysteresis coefficient kh and a silicon content is added to the steel so that it is of a silicon steel and the percentage of silicon added is 4% and the pole shoe the purpose of the pole shoe is its cross sectional area increases so that the reluctance the reluctance of the pole decreases because reluctance s is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area so that a large amount of flux is produced from the pole in the air gap and the third third important point in the construction is the field winding field winding the purpose of the field winding is it carries the field current whenever it is excited with a dc supply so that the pole core and pole shoe behaves as an electromagnet where it can have a capability to produce the flux therefore the amount of the flux in the air gap is directly proportional to the field current if in the designing process this field winding is further classified into two types maybe shunt field winding and it may be series field winding the shunt field winding should have more number of turns with less cross sectional area so that its rf value is very high for series field winding the number of turns must be small with larger cross sectional area so that the resistance of the series field winding is very small so the requirements are the shunt field should have more amount of resistance and series field should have less amount of resistance to carry the load current it is made up of with the total shunt and series field windings are made up of with copper material the fourth part to be discussed is interpoles the interpoles are the small poles which are located in between the main poles and the winding which is placed in this interpoles is interpole winding which should have the few number of turns with larger cross sectional area in order to carry the load current the purpose of this interpoles is to minimize the armature reaction the interpole winding is connected in series 
with the armature and the next part in the stator is compensating windings it is placed on the pole shoe face and it is connected in series to the armature the purpose of this compensating winding is to neutralize the armature reaction and the last part in the stator is of brushes the purpose of the brush is to collect the current and it should be transferred to the external circuit to collect the current and transfers it to the external circuit it is made up of with carbon for small dc machines and it is made up of with electrographite for all dc machines and a special one copper graphite which is used for low voltage high current dc machine this is of very important which is used for low voltage high current dc machines the brushes is of a static part so coming to the next in the construction many parts are there which rotates comes under rotor in the rotor the first one is armature core the purpose of the armature core is it holds the armature winding it is of a cylindrical type round type structure having slot and teeth alternate arrangement with a laminated disc shape in this slot and teeth arrangement the conductors are placed in the slots like this so that the armature core is a laminated one to reduce the eddy current losses here the armature winding is of two types may be wounded in lap winding or in wave winding the armature winding is made up of with copper wire 